Pascal qu'on est à 100 km du sommet. Ah, et s'il parvient à passer le saut d'après les ressources avec une minute d'avance, on peut imaginer que ça sentira en plus. Welcome to the Coal Collective for our Stage 17 Tour de France Recon. Back end of October, got these beautiful autumn colours. The 2018 Tour de France has recently been announced. Always an exciting time. There's a couple of stages in particular that caught my eye. One actually over in the Alps, starting in Annecy and featuring the Gliere. Solid section of gravel there. Today we're in the Pyrenees, checking out a 65 kilometer stage, which I still find quite amazing. I think it's going to be one of the most dynamic stages and dramatic in some respect that we're going to see for a while. It's got three climbs up the Perigude. We're actually on the Perisord making our way to that now. And the Azette, followed by an all new climb to the Tour, the Col de Portet. It's actually 2,215 meters, so it's higher than the Tourmalet. swords amongst the very oldest climbs in the tour first used in 1910 so no doubt it's seen a lot of drama more recently 2016 saw Froome actually attack coming up the other way and down this descent caught everyone off guard and he won going down into Banya de Luchon pretty epic I've got to say and then last year they actually used the climb this side and Froome Dog and Aru were back in the thick of it you saw him overshoot the bend coming off the descent of the Balez to join the Perisord, straight off into the rough. They had a bit of a chase to get back into the pack, finished on the Perigude airstrip, actually saw Froome suffering, lost the yellow jersey to Aru, Bardet took the honours. A nasty little loop that they tacked on. I thought we were just going to blast down the Perisord and enjoy it for what it's worth. But uh, coming back up around to Perigude, uh, backside of the Altiport 007, so you get a good view of the runway strip where the tour finished last year and the fireworks there. And my theory for doing that this time, coming from this direction, is so it gives riders a really good view of what they're actually going to face next, which is the Azette. You can see behind me the, uh, the switchbacks there just carving their way up the side of the mountain, dropping us into the next valley, teeing us up for the Portet.
almost mad. I've got under 30 kilometers on the clock. I've done over a thousand meters of elevation. And that includes the descent from the top of the Paragoud as well. So just goes to show how much climbing there is in such a short space of time. If the riders don't do a good warm up, I think they're gonna come quite unstuck. We're on the early slopes of the Col de Val Laurent Azette, climbing up to 1,580 meters. This part's the steepest, we're up to 12%. So not much of a recovery off the top of the, uh, the Paragoud and then straight on to quite a nasty climb. Only 7.4 kilometers, but it does average over 8%. So another nasty little one just to start chipping away at that power, start hurting the legs. of Valeron Azette, second climb. Got 1,650 meters elevation on the clock, only 37K. And I think the coolest thing about being at this spot here, is if you look behind me, you can see the airstrip, you can see the parasaur off to the left as well. And then straight in front, as soon as you come around this corner, you've got a long descent, but you can see Pladadet just slicing its way into the mountain. And then if you look really carefully, you can see where we're gonna take a right-hand turn. And we've got the switchbacks there going up the Col de Portet up to 2,215 meters. So, it's, it's quite a unique place. You really get a sense of sort of the mountains that you're crossing, where you've been, where you're going. There's absolutely no hiding. You've got to pay a bit of attention on that descent. It's fast, no crash barriers, and when you hit a Z, it gets really narrow, a bit more technical as well. So the riders hit that at speed, and they don't know what's coming. Could be trouble. just over 50 k's on the clock on any normal day that's when you start to feel just about warmed up this is far from a normal ride I think it's about this point where riders are really going to feel the burn Plata there is notorious the gradient rarely drops below double figures we're at 10 12 percent already and the really harsh thing on this climb is there's very little in the way of hairpins so it's hard to get out of sight out of mind so if you are going to put in a big attack you're going to have to have the watts to back it up. So maybe a bit of a strategy game coming into play here for the GC contenders until they hit that last section where we turn off onto the portet.
1,650 meters. Check out that view. Just taking a right-hander with 3K to go from Pladadet. It would have been so easy for the race organizers just to, to put the race whoop, straight up there as normal. So yeah, it's commendable really to, uh, to explore these new roads and put something which is totally fresh on the tour. You can see straight away, the road goes from this silk smooth tarmac to, uh, it's a little more than a goat track, but uh, definitely narrows and this is where the real heart and soul of the race is gonna take place. to see why the Portet is being dubbed the new Tourmalet. Not only is it 100 meters higher, at 2,215 meters elevation, but it's also an average gradient of 8.7. So compared to the Tourmalet's 7.5, yeah, it's also a little shorter, makes it quite a bit harder. And some are saying that it's potentially the hardest climb that the Tour's ever done. Stats aside, for me, it actually feels a lot more like a a tramousse or a col de tente, even a bit of a lac de cap de long thrown in. It's a lot more wild, a lot more rugged. You've got six sections of gravel, which maybe uh, resurface come July, but to be honest, I think they should keep them as they are, as tribute to Octave Lapise and the old greats who tackled similar goat tracks in the early 1900s. We're at 2,050 meters, so we've got a couple of k's to the top. And I'll tell you what, I was excited before, but now I haven't ridden the stage. <laughs> this is crazy. I've been riding and racing for 25 years and I've never seen anything like it. Absolutely no filler. It's going to be explosive from the gun. And I tell you, I hope they have more stages like this in the future. It's going to happen come July 25th. Well, I've probably got about as much chance of winning the yellow jersey as predicting that correctly, such as the Tour de France. That said, it's definitely a stage for the pure climbers. I think Dan Martin's going to be up there. He's going to be fighting like a terrier as always. Quintana, no doubt, is going to be a protagonist. 
as these are local roads, I'm going to show some French patronism. I reckon it's going to have Bardet's name painted all over it. <laughs> 